Today's review is of the Veritas Detail Rabbit Plane. I have two of them here. I've got the 3 8 and the 1 quarter. They come wrapped in corrosion inhibitor paper. These are both brand new. They came out of the box with these little spots on the brass. That will be pretty easy to clean up. They're both very simple little planes. This one is one quarter. This one is three eighths. They uh, disassemble quite easily. You lift this screw, ro rotate this screw out, and then you can rotate the blade out, which has a notch in there to fit around that body part. And if you want to take the handle out, you can undo the screw entire, and then the handle drops down and rotates out. So you end up with the blade, the body, and the brass handle. <clears throat> Pretty easy to reassemble. Rotate in, slip it in, slide it up into that little slot there. Thread the screw back in. Drop the blade in. As soon as the screw starts to show, right there, drop the blade back in. Put a teeny bit of tension on there. Now you can set your blade. Well, there's still not a lot of tension on there. I find this part the most fiddly. There we go. That bites. You can adjust these planes just like other hammer planes, tap it on the rear, retracts the blade, tapping it on the nose, extends the blade. Now I've extended it too far. There we go. Nice little shaping. Planes are really designed for either making detail rabbits like, for example, if you were making drawer bottoms on very small, very fine drawers, then this, like if the wood's a quarter inch thick, this detail plane would be a very good choice for making that detail rabbit. As you can see, it takes pretty good shaving. And um, once you get it down in, it will track very well. And if you want, you can use, um, you could clamp a straight edge on your piece, and that would be more than sufficient to act as a guide for the detail rabbit plane. The most difficult thing I find about these planes is the blade is so small, it doesn't fit in any of the sharpening jigs that I have. So it has to be sharpened by hand. And it's very, very small. So getting it to sit on the sharpening stone and drawing it properly to get the full bevel evenly sharpened is a little bit difficult and takes some practice. I've only just given these the barest of lapping just to clean them up. As you can see when they're set up and sharp, they produce nice, thick, even, clean shavings.